Hello my future subscribers, this is Kim from Kim's Vintage Obsession. Um, I've decided that I wanted to start a YouTube channel to talk about my many different collections. Happy Easter, everyone! Um, so, over quarantine I got bored and decided to start antiquing, collecting, crocheting, um, learning how to do hair, nails, thrifting, couponing. So I'm going to be talking about all of that on here, and today I want to talk about one of my favorite pieces of jewelry, or favorite pieces, multiple of jewelry that I have collected, and those are my 1920s Blue Morpho Butterfly Art Deco jewelry pieces. So I found these, well this bracelet came from Black Swan Antique Store, and the necklace came from... Bedford Street Antiques in Carlisle and um, give you a close-up. I love these pieces. Nothing quite capture captures the light like Blue Morpho butterfly wings and I'll be giving you a close-up in a little bit and telling you how I know that these are from the 1920s but I just wanted to say welcome to my channel and let's get started. So first I'm going to do a close-up of my Blue Morpho butterfly bracelet. As you can see here, the motif is very tropical. It has palm trees, um, seagulls, a landscape, and you can see a sun put in there out of foil with a reflection on the water. This was very popular in the 1920s to have this tropical motif. You can see it in brooches from souvenirs or uh, pieces such as this. Um, as you can see here, the safety chain very indicative of earlier pieces. Um, I believe this is just uh, pot metal, might be rhodium plated. It's not stamped sterling, doesn't feel like sterling, but you can see this link right here, very art deco. You can see the milligrain details on the corner there. Um, this clasp was invented in the early 1920s, and you can tell um, the earlier ones have this little knob or this notch that you put your your thumb into to open it it's closer to the opening and on this clasp here which just lightly hooks into that circle there or that jump ring you can see the art deco motifs um, you can see just the very intricate metal work and so the way that these were made was these cabochons which I believe these to be resin um, or some kind of plastic these ones aren't glass the nicer ones are made out of sterling silver and glass, but this one, resin or some kind of plastic, it's reverse painted and then a piece of a blue morpho butterfly wing is, is put down and then these cabochons are put in place on top of it. So yeah, very beautiful piece, captures the sun perfectly. Um, these aren't super easy to come across, I was really shocked to find it in person. And of course when I saw it, I was like, I'm going to buy this. I believe I paid $17 for it, but I was looking online. I saw examples such as this go for in the 60 to 80 range, so definitely a steal. But yeah, that's the, that's the first piece of my collection. The second piece of my collection is this necklace. Um, you can tell here, very art deco motif in the bail. And not marked with anything. I, again, believe it to be probably rhodium plated uh, pot metal. But it has the tropical motif. You can see the blue Morpho butterfly wing in the background. Again, reverse painted resin cabochon over blue Morpho butterfly wing. A very beautiful piece. You can see in the clasp here. Early 1920s or 1920s at least with the notch being so close to the opening. Um, this one is on, a, I think, a 14 inch chain. Sits very nicely at a little under a choker length, so it, it sits at in that notch between your collarbones very perfectly. Um, I get lots of compliments when I wear this. Just love how it catches the sun. And yeah, these are the two pieces of my Blue Morpho Butterfly collection, and I hope to find more in the future. I think I paid $10 for this one. But again, you know, online, on Etsy or eBay, they go for upwards of 50 so I can't complain. 
So I just wanted to say thank you for tuning in to listen to um, my background on my Blue Morpho butterfly pieces from what I believe 1920s, 1930s. Again, I mean, all of my knowledge comes from personal research, um, lots of looking at things online, online shopping, reading product descriptions, reading articles. So I can't guarantee that everything that I said is accurate, such as I'm not sure if these are resin or plastic, but um, either way, very beautiful. I have never seen any Blue Morpho jewelry with the tropical motif any later than being from the 1960s. But given the Art Deco details in the metal, I believe these to be earlier examples. Um, so uh, I'm excited to share more things with you in the future. Uh, thanks for watching and for tuning in. Um, so this is Kim from Kim's Vintage Obsessions and I'll catch you later.